Hey everyone, I'm Kyle Williams and welcome back to The Haunted House. Today we have an interesting video for you, but before I get into that, you know, I gotta address the visual. We're here back in the haunted space. Our background is the same today. It's the purple haunted tree tapestry with the black creepy cloth all across it. I'm here, Kyle Williams in the middle, I'm wearing a black polo today for a healthy dose of masculinity. Is there a such thing as a healthy dose of masculinity? <laughs> I don't know. Today we have blue and green lights. The blue is real subtle. It's really like a the bluest white, but it's still blue, you know? And it's kind of cool because the microphone that I hold is as I don't talk too loud, has blue and green lights. We have our black table here in the middle. On the table is my co-host, the little baby skull. It's not a baby, it's like an adult. How's it going, little baby skull? Yeah, I'm in love with you, oh my god. Wow, that's awesome. The skull has not gotten their vaccine yet, so they're still wearing a mask. <laughs> Soon. Soon. So yeah, first item on the scare agenda. No. First item on the agenda. Today I'm doing a shopping haul. I bought some stuff at some local businesses, and so I'm just gonna show off those things. Most of them are movie or Halloween oriented, so let's get into it. I traveled to the city of Burbank, and for a few hours I was just walking around, going to different stores. Several Halloween stores, to be honest, like several like creepy movie kind of things, so I was into that. I mean, it's Southern California, so of course there's gonna be a lot of movie things. I'm gonna go to more in the future. But yeah, I parked in a distant location, and I walked you know, to different stores and stuff. So that was pretty cool. And so now I'm gonna show you what I bought. And if you wanna support all the stores I went to today, I'll put links to all the stores I went to in the description. So yeah, I didn't buy an extreme amount of stuff because we still on a budget, but I bought a good amount. I found some good finds. Let me get the bag. Ta-da! Okay, I shoved it all into this black bag. You know, holding it up like this, it kind of looks like a trash bag, but actually it looks, to me, it looks gloomy and creepy and chilling. So, first off, here's one of the items I bought. Skeletal hands. No clue what I'm gonna use these for, but I thought it could give company to our friend. Hello, I just like the energy they bring. Skeleton, do you recognize these? Oh. Next up, oh, the Dark Crystal t-shirt. This is a shirt from the source material. This, I've talked about the Dark Crystal before and I will talk about it again and again and again. <laughs> this is the OG 80s movie. I love so much about what it means and everything they do and just aesthetically, I love it. I love the Gelfling, I think they're so beautiful. Y'all are gonna see a news article about me. Man spends $40,000 to look like a Gelfling. So love the Dark Crystal. The next thing I bought is small, but still packs a punch, a Blade Runner magnet. So now my refrigerator can be sporting replicants. I saw this movie recently for the first time, and where have I been? I think that movie is one of the greatest visual achievements I have ever seen. Literally, it's just amazing. So this magnet, my fridge can now celebrate it too. Next, these two items were free. They're just free postcards. They're really Halloween themed. I'm gonna send these to my family. And then I got some vampire teeth, just some vampire teeth. They were cheap and Halloween, so I bought it. Again, not sure what use I have for these, but... I'm wearing the vampire teeth. I look awesome, actually. Damn. <laughs> Next, here are two magazines. Gnarly Magazine. All kinds of artists are celebrated in these magazines, and there's a lot of, like, movie, skeletons, monsters, energy. There's one with Gojira on it, so I thought that was pretty cool. This, this looks like a pen or pencil sketch of Mother Agra from, you guessed it, The Dark Crystal. I saw this, and it was love at first sight. It was a gorgeous sketch, so glad I have it now. Here's a fun one. I bought some fake spider webs and fake spiders. I have some of this already, but you can never have too much. I, I might decorate the whole place with it. Who knows? Here's another little item. It is a bar of soap with, like, a ghost or demon or something on it. It is pumpkin-flavored soap or not not flavored scented i always mess that up so that'll be pretty cool stay clean friends one of my last items is this it's just a plate it's just like a very dark blue plate it's shiny i can see myself i'm gorgeous you remember that robot in wally you look gorgeous but anyway i don't have a lot of plates so i was like let me buy this it's only two dollars last item is this little book of skull tattoos they're little fake tattoos i don't have any tattoos in real life i used to do temporary tattoos a lot as a kid as many people do, like fruit by the foot and stuff. So I thought it'd be funny to do a tattoo. Kesha has the eye right there. I think it's so cool. So, okay, I'm gonna do this one on the hand. Okay, I just did it. See, I love a palm tattoo. Now, the teeth are in my mouth, the tattoo's on my hand, and now I have all the items on display. <laughs> so that was my haul, everybody. Yeah. Oh, that's all the creepy, chilling, startling items I bought. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these products, but I like them, so we'll see. Okay, yeah, thank you for joining me on this journey down the hall of horrors. We'll see what happens to these items. I'll see what I do with them. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This was fun, actually, buying stuff and showcasing it. Thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe. We'll have more videos coming up. I literally have something on my hand that I can hit the camera with this time. All right, everybody, have a good night. Bye, everybody.